Hello my bunnies, it's Tiki Strinkets here, and today I have for y'all another monthly artist feature video. This is where I feature six different shops that I have found via Instagram. I should do other social media platforms, but it's just I'm on Instagram the most personally. I do use Twitter, TikTok, other social media platforms, YouTube, but Instagram's definitely the one I'm on the most, and especially the one I'm looking at art the most because I love looking at reels and just pictures and stuff. So that's why I'm on this the most. But this is where I'm going to feature six different artists and their shops and their styles and talk a little bit about them and try my best to be correct about pronouns and names and shop titles. I'm probably going to say some things wrong or accidentally miss say things. If I do in advance, I apologize. I'm trying the best I can. But if you like any of these shops, be sure to check them out on Instagram or check out any of their feature links, which I will show in the other tabs. I will pull up some of their stuff, like their shops, or if they don't have, if they do it just for fun, I'll pull up their Twitter pages or whatever they have linked in their bio, if they have anything linked in their bio. My internet's going slow today, so bear with me. All right, let's start with Alberry Lane. I've been following them not that long. I recently found them under searching for bunny stuff, hence the bunny with the mushroom hat, kind of cottagecore galaxy vibes, really cute. Her pronouns are she, her, so I'm going to try to remember that when I'm talking about you. Oops. So, please bear with me. I didn't just unfollow them, did I? Okay, no, I'm still good. I didn't want to accidentally click unfollow. That'd be terrible in the middle of a video. Oh, sorry. But I found them via searching for bunnies, and if I see the one that I found first, I'll mention it. But they have a really interesting style. It meets somewhere between cute and creepy and a little bit cosmic and a little bit cottagecore. I just think it's a very interesting style. You don't come by that often. These are obviously polymer clay, resin type based sculptures. Looks like she does color. Looks like she might even do painting, which nothing's going to load. So I'm going to try my best not to click anything today. Let's hope I stick with that. They do, they post reels and pictures so you can see your process. I think that's the one I first found. It's either that one or that one. I can't remember. It might even be further down than that, but I haven't been following her that long, so it's probably one of her more recent things, or either it just so happened to come up in the bunny tags on Instagram. But she has a really cute aesthetic, and it's very interesting, so let's go ahead and slide on over to her shop if it will load and see what it says. They have their website and shop, a private Facebook group, that's interesting. Don't look down, clutter gallery, Instagram and Facebook, let's go here. That's funny, I've never seen that. <laughs> don't look down. <laughs> um, I don't know where they're located. I'm not sure if they're located in the U.S. or somewhere else. If I see that, I will mention it. The prices seem very reasonable for what they are. Oh, they even do enamel pins, apparently. That's cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's cute. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. Oh, she don't have that much. She sold most of it. <laughs> and these two are sold out as they are. Wow, that's impressive. Um, Let me see if I can go to her about page. Oh, it just loaded randomly. If you have the time, take your time on your own personal time to read all of this. I don't have enough time in this video to do all that. Um, again, I don't know where they're located, so if you buy it, just keep in mind that they may or may not be in the U.S. I have no idea. Great reviews, obviously. So yeah, definitely come check them out, especially if you're into the Halloween spirit early like I am. All this spooky stuff is really giving me great vibes. But don't forget to check out her other links via her link tree right here. Alright, there's been way too much time. Let's go ahead and go on to the second account. Here we are at account number two. This is Alpaca Sews. Again, if I say something wrong, just let me know. Feel free to comment down below. Again, she uses she, her, hers pronouns. That way I can hopefully get that right. I found her very recently as well through her adorable, I think it was either her dragons or it might have been her cows. Probably her cows, but you'll see more as we go along. She's currently doing a Kickstarter for these little dragon fruit, little fruit dragons. I almost said cows. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> and they already passed their first goal. I've been keeping up with this, seeing how it's going. That's really good. So she's unlocked the succulent dragon, and it looks like the fruit dragon, and it might have been one other one. The dragon fruit's really cute. Mushrooms? Is that what that is? Mushrooms, I believe. 
da, 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 da. mushroom. <laughs> I just had to check. But yes, her little dragons are very cute. She does very fun reels on Instagram slash TikTok, as you can see. They're really fun and entertaining. I need to do more entertaining stuff myself. I'm so behind. She's also got Mothman plushies. I just think her style is very interesting. I believe I first found her by her cows. I just thought the style was really cute. Oh, and the mossy dinosaurs. That's pretty. Again, sorry, allergies. The Mothman one is really interesting as well. It's just, oh, that might be like a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Yeah, I don't know why I do talking videos since I can't talk very well. I've been really in the cryptids recently. That's why I'm doing the Cryptid Cutie Critter set from my own shop. That's why I'm looking at all the cryptid stuff because it's just been my vibe right now. <laughs> Mothman, Bigfoot, Jersey Devil. But yeah, you know, my cryptid stuff isn't like the creatures that are out there. They're my own original cryptids, so, you know, you can do whatever you want. Everybody likes to play around with it and have fun. But I like that her dragons had these little, some of them, not all of them, had these little sprouts growing out today. I think it's really cute. Oh, and she even has some of her prices right here, so that way you can kind of have an idea. Very typical for a hand-sewn plushie. I don't know if it's hand or machine, but either way, very typical for plushies especially of this size, and her work is definitely worth every penny of it, and you should definitely watch her entertaining reels. I really, really enjoy them. If you actually watch this video, please keep doing that. I really enjoy it, and I'm sure other people do too. Okay, let's go ahead and see. She's got her Kickstarter, she's notified about shop updates, Etsy shop, which is on vacation mode, Mothman, and friends pre-order. Since her Etsy shop's on vacation, let's just click her Kickstarter so you can just see that. That's okay. Well, I do need to pull up her Etsy shop so I can follow her. I do try to follow all the people on some kind of account. Oh, it's not on vacation. You might want to change that. That way people know that you're not on vacation, but I just assumed. Don't be presumptuous like I am. But yes, obviously a lot of people are loving these cryptid little boys. They're cute. And look at those. Uh, wonderful reviews. Good sales. She does live in the United States. You can see via her Etsy shop, so that's good to know for y'all. And her stuff's just adorable. And again, the price is $35. Really not bad. Okay, that's her Etsy shop. Here's her Kickstarter, which, wow. <coughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I've been keeping an eye on it. I didn't realize she was fully funded in 10 minutes. Holy hell. And way over the goal. Holy shit. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> Mm. I was just really shook. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I see why she was fully funded, because her dragons are just so cute. And yes, obviously, if you do fund her Kickstarter or have already, make sure you pay attention to this for the times of it. She has the different tiers, which I don't know if you could still back this project. I see the back this project button, so I guess you still can. Then she still has 10 days to go, so definitely check this out if you want to get one of these cutie boots cutie woodies. I tried to say woody and said booty. I'm sorry. <laughs> but congratulations. That's awesome. That's way above what you were asking and that's definitely going to help out your shop. So seriously, congratulations. So if you like cute plushies, entertaining value on her reels, and just all around an awesome person, check out Opaco Sews. All right, on to the third account. Account number three, we have Little Blue Seal and you're going to love this for sure. If you don't love these, I'm going to be shook. This is a polymer clay artist, I believe, is what they use. It looks like polymer clay to me. They have their link tree. I do not see a preferred pronoun, so I'm not entirely sure. I will check that out, and I will follow them on TikTok off camera. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and we'll get that in a second. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself because I do really love her stuff. I believe... Possibly their pronouns are her. If not, I will try to use them they. I'm sorry if I used incorrect pronouns. Try to pause that. I'm not entirely sure of their pronouns, but we're going to proceed. They make, if it's not obvious by their shop title name, Little Blue Seal. They make tiny seals. They're not all blue, though, obviously. I first found them not that long ago from one of these seals so it's really really recently one of these cute little ice cream buns i just think these ice cream seals are just the cutest thing ever this one this is the one i found and ah so cute <laughs> and look at the little croissant seals she just made these recently as you can see i've been looking through 
they are so adorable. They look like you could really eat them. I mean, I wouldn't recommend, but <laughs> they definitely look like you could literally just stick them right in the mouth. But she's made other things like succulents and rainbow. Some of them might be resin. That looks resin-esque to me. She's done other baked goods. They have like a lot of different styles, a lot of different types of seals, like shapes. They're not all the fat boys. Some of them are curved. Some of them are elongated. It just depends on what she's doing with them at the time. They also have bugs and all kinds of cute stuff. Oh, that bunny's cute. It's just really, really pretty stuff. Oh, I didn't even see the honeybee ones. What? Oh my god, that's so cute. If you're watching this too, you're very talented. I think this is just the most awesome thing. Oh my god, these bunnies. Oh, so cute. I love bunnies. The chunky shapes. Oh gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry again. Obviously, they have really cute, really adorable polymer clay sculptures. Let's go ahead and head on over to the Etsy shop. And yeah, this is about the prices I was expecting. Um, they live in Australia, so keep in mind it might be international shipping if you do live in the United States like me, but that's okay. We all live in different parts of the world. Sells, they're doing really good. Uh, their announcements were recently changed. I don't know how long they've been on Etsy. They used to put that right at the top, but they don't anymore. Etsy's always changing their software algorithm. But yes, their stuff... Oh, da 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 da. <laughs> I love these so much. I don't know if I like the hot cross buns or this little... Oh my god, I love all of those so much. The little bunny ones are my favorite. I just love bunnies so much. I'm sorry, I'm done. Um, yes, their Etsy shop's really cute. Obviously, a lot of people are interested. They're holding it in their carts. Probably wait until they get that payday. A lot of people do that in my shop, too, and I get it. I'm strapped for cash myself right now, so I totally understand. Sometimes you gotta budget. Sometimes you gotta wait and save. And sometimes you just gotta wait on payday. But, yes, their stuff is really adorable. Tons of different things to choose from, not just seals. So, if you don't just want seals... Oh, I love Umbrella Academy, too. World of Warcraft, that's adorable. My fiance plays um, the Horde. Well, he's played Alliance too. He plays for the Horde team more though. But yes, it's really cute. Tons of things to look at, as you can see by the category. So definitely come check them out. And I will follow them on TikTok shortly. It's, it's hard for me to do it on desktop because, you know, I'm not logged in. Okay, so that's Little Blue Seal. Let's move on to the next account. Here we have account number four. This is Draw with Choco. Choco. I'm going to say Choco. It's just easier to pronunciate. Uh, Mexican artist located in Oregon. So that way you know where they're located. I believe that's OR is for Portland, Oregon. Shops, art prints, portfolio, Etsy. I always choose to go to Etsy because I'm just a basic B. And let's just go ahead and go ahead and hit follow. Holy crap, they got a lot of sales. Um... I don't see preferred pronouns. I'm gonna try to stick to them. I do sometimes accidentally say she. I just am a girl, so I automate to girl pronouns. I'm sorry. That's just me being presumptuous and me being stupid. But anywho, I try to be sensitive. Uh, I found them because of that um, particular plushie, the chicken plushes. She posted a reel of the chickens and the cows, and I don't see it up here. It's probably further down and it won't load. There we go. And she dropped all of them after she got them, like dropped them on the floor, and then she was doing a bounce test of like how bouncy they are. And I just thought that was so cute. She also has prints available of those characters. Um, what else? <sighs> prints, plushies, a few other things. I'm trying to remember it all. Looks like she's doing really good. I really think this is really cute. Oh. I couldn't even tell that was a filter at first. I just thought it was that tone naturally. But yes, her stuff is just very cute, very farm aesthetic, because of the chickens and the cows, obviously. I just thought she was really fun, and just the TikTok, or just the real, pardon me, whichever one it is, of her just bouncing the plushies, I think was just the cutest thing ever. And a very smart idea I would have never thought of, oh, and stickers too, I would have never thought of, but it's just, it was really entertaining to watch. Okay, let's go ahead and go over to their Etsy shop. Which they have a few things listed, but that makes sense with all these sales. I'm surprised there's anything. It is Oregon. I was just making sure OR was for Portland, Oregon. 
But anywho, they do have a lot of stuff that's still available. Phone grips, desk mats, that's cool. Phone grips, just washi tape, like she does it all. They they literally do it all. I just think this is the cutest stuff ever. I'm looking to see if there's any more chicken stuff or cow stuff available. The answer is no. I'm going to click her actual shop and see if there's any more cow or chicken stuff available, which I want, might want to go back and get later. At least the um, stickers, because, hey, why not? Stickers are affordable, like, most of the time. I could click stationary or I could just scroll. Okay, I'm just going to click stationary. Oh, Lord, not stationary. Stickers. I'm having a moment. My mind, stationary and stickers are in tandem, hand in hand. I think she... I think they are currently out of the cow and the chicken stuff. But I'm not surprised because their art's really cute. And I'm pretty sure tons of people buy their art a lot. And the answer is right now they don't have it. But it's okay. We will live. And these are the plushies. They are both sold out for the chicken ones. Both the white one and the brown chicken. They were 38 USD both separately. That's awesome. I just think their art is just so cute, and I could go on and on, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to keep good on my time. So let's go ahead and go on to the next account. And here we are with a cat account. I read the word cat and said a cat. Account number five, we have Cat Mint Studios. Um, they use the pronouns them, they, and she, her. So I will try to stick... Oh, I already got that open once. I didn't mean to open it again. I will try to stick to them, they, if I can. Pardon me if I accidentally say she, her. Again, I'm trying to correct. And they make really cute cat stuff. If it's not obvious, they do make other stuff. But I also found them very recently. Again, most of the accounts I found are very recent. So you're going to hear me talking about how I didn't see this until here recently. That's just because, you know, I'm, I'm a bad artist. I need to follow more artist friends. That way I have more people to show that I've been following for a long time. But they make really, really adorable cat stuff. I'm not even sure what these are, but they just look so satisfying all pile, piled together. Enamel pins. Are they clay enamel pins or is that like metal? I'm reading. <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't know, but they're really cute. I don't have time to read the entirety of that, so, you know, I'll go back and read it personally later. They already have, they have one link to their shop and some of their other stuff, which I'll get to momentarily. Um, just really cute stuff. Here's the setup of their convention center table. Well, their table at the convention center, it won't load. But you can kind of see it there. That's probably good that I'm not zooming in on your face anyway, so... Just out of the respect to your own privacy. I think their art's really cute. I like the bees. <laughs> and they do button pins. They do enamel pins. Acrylic keychains. Really diverse product range. They have LGBTQ stuff too. Halloween stuff. It's just the variety goes on and on. Seems like they've been doing this a long time. They got the hang of it. Know what they're doing. So let's go ahead and click on over here. Shop US and International. Instagram. Twitter. Shop for the UK only, pin trading, and Facebook. Let's go shop international. Summer shop update. Blah, blah, blah. Enamel pins, stickers, keychains, everything, which includes and more. <laughs> oh, I like the categories LGBTQ, big mood. <laughs> That's cute. Um, let me see what and more consists of. That way you kind of have an idea. Um, I guess also similar products. Charms, enamel pins, button pins acrylic keychains, etc, etc. But yeah, as you can get it, their stuff's really cute. I like that a lot. That's really cute. Ghost Kitty Bottle Keychain. I've never seen that before for her, from her page, but again, I haven't been following her along, but that's really, really cute. The Stay Positive Positive buttons are really cute. Again, a lot of LGBTQ friendly stuff, so if you enjoy that, which you should at least try to be respectful. If you don't, you should definitely check that out. Shark stuff. I just think their art is so cute. I don't even remember what I found first anymore. I, I follow so many people and I like so much stuff. So bear with me. It was something cute. It was something cats. I was searching up cats on Instagram. And that's when I found her. 
But yes, their shop's really cute. Their style's really cute. So definitely come check them out and check out all their links, especially if you live in the UK because they're UK based. So that's good to know. All right, let's go ahead and go on to the last account. Okay, before I get on this, Catmint Studios Correction was owned by two people. That's why it showed the pronouns she, her, and then they. I just saw that on their Twitter page. They are two different people. And that's why they have two different preferred pronouns and two different gender slash sexual identities. Just trying to be respectful and correct myself, like I said. Now, last accounts. Last but certainly not the least, we have Glo Goofy Floof Creative. I can't help but mess things up. As you can see right here, they live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Their name is Michelle. They do not say preferred pronouns, so I'm going to call them she, her. Just because I don't know, I will try to say them they if I can remember. But again, I am not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. And they are doing a giveaway at 500 followers, so woohoo. Oh, they hit 500, so I guess they're going to be doing it soon or already did it. <laughs> And I found them recently because of, I think it was a dragon. I cannot remember for sure. Don't quote me. I don't remember the first thing I've found from their shop. But they were um, just something random that just popped up. I think under recommended for my Instagram. Just like people you might know also know this person. But they do their own original work slash fan work. I think this Pokemon cute little pony is just adorable. I would like to like it. Oh, there's there's the heart reaction. I forgot where the heart button was. Oh, I had a moment. I also like this Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter inspired pony charm right here. Again, nothing will load for me. I just love it when nothing loads. Just quite a few different original works, fandom works. They just seem like a really nice person. Their art is just really fun, really whimsical. There's a lot of good words. There's nothing, there's not enough words to describe everything. Thor, other cute things, Pocahontas. Oh, the Pegasus from um, Hercules. Oh, I loved it so much. I used to wish I had that pony, that Pegasus, because it was so pretty. I loved that. <laughs> I see Cookie Dino's commenting on it too. She is always just so sweet. Cookie, Cookie's Dino's. I was trying to like it, but it won't let me like it. I guess it just lets me see who liked it, but it won't let me like it on desktop. Uh, whatever. Desktop on Instagram just sucks. They even changed the algorithm put stuff over there. But anyways, that's besides the point. We're featuring this amazing person. Oh, uh, that's when they hit 500 and did the giveaways. And I have no idea what the giveaway consists of because I didn't get there in time. That's just me. Oh, apparently they're very new because they only got 25 cells. So let's go ahead and hit follow button. Yeah, $40, $30, 40 plus. That's what I was picturing on their stuff. That's the average prices for most of the stuff nowadays for polymer clay sculptures because it takes a long time. And the artist prices what they need to in order to turn a profit, which is only fair. It seems like they're doing really good. I know they're new. They must have just made their shop this year. I have no idea because... Etsy doesn't tell me anymore, but they do have good reviews. Everybody seems really happy. Adorable pictures, adorable work. Everything is just super cute. I think it just said since last year on 2021. But it doesn't matter how long it's been as long as you keep going and you keep trying on Etsy since 2021. They got some information if you need to read about that. And again, they are located in the U.S. So for U.S. shippers, just remember that is U.S. shipping based. And again, just check them out, especially if you're in the Halloween mood because they've been doing a lot of Halloween stuff recently. I wonder if they got that from Target. I just want the Target today and that looks just like a picture frame I saw at Target. And their art's just really cute and again, really fun. I just love it so much. I don't know if that's Coraline or if that's um the Wondrous Wonderful Egg or however you say that anime. I cannot. I haven't watched that one. Coraline. Yeah, there's Wonder Egg. That's it. Wonder Egg anime looks a lot like Coraline. So I never know if people are doing Coraline or Wonder Egg. But I should have known by the Dragonfly pin it was Wonder Egg. But I had a moment. <laughs> but again, they're definitely worth checking out. Especially if you like polymer clay sculptures and seasonal stuff. And don't forget to follow all these people, all these amazing artists. And don't forget to check out all their links and everything. Go ahead and support them any way that you can. Give them a like, give them a follow, whatever you can do. It doesn't cost anything to like or to follow somebody. 
But all right, that's the last account. Let me go ahead and head on over to mine and I'll do the outro spiel. And here we are on my page. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still at 879 followers. I've been up in the 880s, but I've gone back and forth at the moment. That's how it goes with Instagram followers. They come and they go so easy. But I am very happy where I'm at. I'm still trying to reach my goal of 900 followers. <clears throat> Maybe I should do a giveaway at 900 followers. That way it gives more incentive for people to help me get there. Maybe I could do the same thing on YouTube for 300. Because I'm trying to get 300 subscribers on YouTube and 800 followers on Instagram. TikTok, I'm not too concerned about it. And same thing with Twitter. I don't actively go on those as much. So this is the one I'm mostly on. So this is what I'm trying to promote. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page, my Twitter page for all the updates and all the most recent stuff I'm working on. If you have any questions about anything in the description down below, let me know. And again, don't forget to check out all these amazing artists. If you don't have an Instagram page, feel free to check out their Twitters, their TikToks, or anything else they might have. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all in next week's video, which I don't know what it will be yet, but stay tuned and you'll see. Love you guys. Bye-bye, my bunnies.